if you need a little help with your ball striking, you might want to check this out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here. You know, I'm always looking for things, devices, training aids, swing thoughts, anything I can do to help you guys hit the ball better. And this one's new, and I thought we might take a look at it. It's called the Divot Board. We're gonna see how this works and how it can help you make better contact. All right, I don't know about you, but I, I kind of like simple things, and this is pretty simple. I'm showing you this is an end you can use to Apparently attach it to your golf bag. On the back, you can see these teeth. So those help grip either the carpet or the floor or the driving range, wherever you're gonna be at. Then you have this flat surface. Obviously that's where the golf ball goes. Uh, this end is supposed to be away from the target. So we'd be hitting that direction. That's all that is, okay? So wherever you touch the ground, that's where you're going to leave a mark. So very important to your development as a golfer, creating better contact, hitting the ball further, whatever it is, trying to do that without feedback, it can be pretty tricky. And so this product, as we've shown, is designed to help basically see your divot. Did you hit it fat? Did you hit it thin? Did you hit it off the toe? Did you hit it off the heel? Feedback like that can be gotten on grass, yes. If you're hitting off nice quality grass, you can tell where the divot is. Only trick may be on grass, you can't always tell because the way the divots fly, did you hit off the toe, did you hit off the heel? And sometimes off grass, it's easy to fool yourself because you look down and you go, yeah, I think that's where the, where the ball was. Of course, I took a divot in front of the ball, but that's not always the case. So with this little device here, you're going to be able to see exactly where you touch the ground. And again, that's to me the biggest, it's the biggest goal you should have if you're not hitting the ball well, is maybe sacrificing a little bit about did it slice a little, did it hook a little, and focusing this year perhaps on solid contact because that's going to make you happier. Trust me, you hit the ball more solid, you're going to be a happier golfer even if you curb it a little bit too much because you won't be duffing a lot of golf shots. Okay, so pretty simple. Golf ball goes on top of the yellow dot. Does that look straight enough? Pretty good, okay. So you might start off with little shots and just seeing what you do, okay? Don't be afraid of failing, but just see what you do. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see that one, but so I'll bring it closer to you. That's not too shabby for an old guy. Front of golf ball divot started somewhere near the middle of the ball. So I'd say that's a pretty straightish divot, right? But again, we're just trying to feel what we're doing So I would, if I had one of these, I would hit, this is a cool thing by the way, you don't have to bend down, just use your golf club to kind of fix it. If not, there we go. That you could hit an average number of shots, let's say 10, and then you could see what, what your reality is. Do I hit it on the toe too much, on the heel too much? fat too much, thin too much. And then you could go to work on fixing the problem, right? But if you don't know the problem exists, you're always searching for different answers that you don't know how to solve.
would say if you're looking for a training tool, something to help you develop your impact, make sure that you're doing it properly or at least give you feedback if you're not, the divot board is a good consideration. Helps you understand and feel what you're doing and then you can either come back here and look for a video on what the problem is, what the solution is, or you can get with your teacher and go, hey, you know, I've just hit 40, 50 shots on this divot board and I'm seeing this pattern, whatever it is. Let's go to work on trying to fix that pattern. But just random practice to me is great. If you're already very good, just go hit a lot of golf balls. Just go to the range, hit a lot of golf balls. But if you're not doing that well, then identify the issue and, and go to work on it and use some sort of feedback that helps you be sure what your mistake is. And so that's why I like this. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe, all those good things that you do out there for us to help us grow the channel. Thanks for watching.